Yo, what is up guys, it's Fruity Space, and today we'll be going to going over five different kind of castle wall designs. I'm going to start from the first one here, and uh, we'll advance our way down the list here, or the row, and uh, I'll show you kind of these little designs I've come up with, how to use them, um, or how to make them, and how I came up with the design, uh, what different things I've kind of thrown in here, pallets, etc. And uh, yeah, some walls, uh, for example, you can actually walk on, so the back of this wall, you can stand on, you can walk along it, you can kind of attack and defend. And uh, this first one here is just more for like an aesthetic look, uh, not really as practical as the rest. It kind of just surrounds your wall, uh, so if you come behind it, this would be kind of around your village or wall. Uh, if any of you have seen a really old series of mine, which was actually building my first ever kind of village, uh, I actually used this wall design or a similar one to this, which is just a giant wall that kind of surrounds your building or your village, uh, but it kind of only purpose is to kind of seclude you in. Uh, you can't actually stand on top of it and attack down on people uh, like the majority of these ones you can. So let's start off anyway and take a look at this one. Uh, so from the first glance you can already see we're using a large variety of uh, different stone type blocks. We've got cobblestone, stone, um, mossy, the mossy cobblestone. You could even throw in polished uh, andesite and things in there too. Uh, so we've got cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, normal stone, uh, and all we're using is a load of different variants of those blocks. So we're using stairs, uh, as you can see here we've got stairs, stairs, and then slabs as well. We're using a different kind of array, so we've got like uh, slabs, so we've got three uh, slabs technically here. This is actually a full block, but it is made of slabs. Um, so you can kind of create little slight inclines and hills and things with these uh, blocks here. So we've got a full one and a slab on top. You've got some stairs, throwing in different shapes here. And then obviously, because it's kind of old and medieval, we've got mossy in here, so it's kind of going a bit mossy. The wall's kind of breaking, so we've got some cracks, and then obviously vines growing off it. A few leaves on the outside, a bit of messed up ground around here. And then obviously some kind of debris that's kind of fallen off the rocks you know they're not the wall even they're not quite equal anymore it's all fallen and collapsed it's kind of like a more of a old abandoned or old falling down kind of uh, wall for example uh, so yeah it's the first little one and we got these lanterns it's just sitting around the edge to light up and we're head over to the second one now so for the second one here this is kind of uh i'm not really sure where you would use this you might use it in more of a um i'm not really sure what kind of theme it would be called but um you could go with a fantasy fantasy style i guess with this one you could head along more of the lines of like an elven play something like that i think that would fit quite nicely um but as you can see here we're using these logs as a center point so we've got one here and a free gap in between another one here free gap in between one here so to design this back wall i've just pushed it behind these logs by one uh, that gives you more room to kind of texture so the higher the wall and the wider you can have so much more room to play with it the inside and create some patterns and things but because there's such a small space i came up with these small little designs we've got some uh trap doors in the back here and you can add lamps behind them or sea lanterns or glowstone produce some light we've got some fences here with leaves on top uh, just slabs connecting up with the stairs uh, buttons on top of these logs as well to make it look like they've kind of got these little nicks and things in them just kind of extruded slightly and then we got stairs just overhanging your head so when you're underneath obviously uh, people can't really shoot you but thankfully due to you know getting the way the game kind of works uh, you can actually use these trap doors and arrows uh, and fences even to fire arrows down through these gaps to get anyone below you uh, which is a quite a nice little design here and uh, obviously this is a place you would probably want to put a stair here i didn't actually do that um I originally it was this high and then i've moved it up to here but didn't quite finish uh finish that part off so you could have something uh, like this i would actually probably use it on this side and then just fill in these with slabs you can just walk up to this layer here and obviously you can have a wall that goes all the way around like this and curves and everything and you obviously curving these walls are going to be a bit tricky uh, but they're definitely things you can play around with here and there uh, but this is another little design as well we've got chiseled the blocks there with buttons on top as well just to give that more extruded look again uh, yeah so obviously this is more of a practical one you've got the overhang uh, here and you can actually use it practically by shooting down on players or mobs uh, so yeah it's a really nice little design this one's quite similar but more on a the rest are actually kind of in a similar way to this one with the overhang and everything uh, purely because it's just more functional it looks a lot better too uh, but this one is very kind of similar it's more old, old themed castle type one uh, so we've got the once again so you can walk around the back here you're going to shoot down on players you've got these chains hanging lanterns um, you can see straight over the wall and everything really nice way to defend uh, we've got falling some holes in the wall buttons as well so there's like a few little bits sticking out here and there 
and a different textured palette of stone, cobblestone, mossy, uh, stone bricks as well in there, and then just some messed up kind of groundscaping here that needs to be cleaned up, and then you know, you've got some vines and leaves uh, just to make it slightly overgrown, but still kind of look like it's up and running and it's kind of being maintained, maybe not to its absolute perfection, but yeah, there is always a kind of story behind walls or it's kind of anything you build in Minecraft, adding those kind of uh, different palettes of mossy or vines or cobblestone or stairs to make those little cracks. There's always small little details that you can add to really bring out the, the most of your build. Um, so always think about that when building. That is probably the one thing I see on this channel the most. Uh, there's always small things, literally just small cracks like that kind of bring out the build and you think, oh, this is kind of old, it's falling to pieces. You know, they're just small things that you always want to think about when building. Next up, fourth one here, we have this kind of fantasy styled one. So I really like the mixture of prismarine and the warped blocks now. Um, so playing around with these darker woods here, I decided to come up with this nice little design. So we started with the simple pattern of the logs in the middle with a three block gap here. And then uh, we've got these stairs. So basically I've mirrored this design on this side. So we've got a stair here, block, and then a uh, stair on top. And then we kind of mirrored it as well up the top there. So it's like gives you this nice diagonal and then we've done it on this side too so you got another diagonal and looking at it, you come up with this nice design here um, and then obviously we've got these walls uh, stairs even holding up the middle block which on this one is chiseled but on this one we're using the dark prismarine and walked blocks with the buttons on there extruding them and then we got dark pris uh, not dark prismarine just normal prismarine walls because there isn't a dark prismarine wall to kind of hold these uh, together and obviously you can actually practically use them as well by shooting down from here to and uh, yeah, just a nice little one here, a uh, little chain just hanging there, you move on the lanterns have fallen off or something. Uh, but just a really nice one, definitely more of a fantasy style build. Um, I'm absolutely loving the new 1.16 blocks with these new darker blocks, they look really good and they go really nicely together. So still figuring out these um, different kind of designs. Um, even on this you could probably like add a head hanging, so you could maybe get like a, let's get a skeleton head for example, you could maybe if you want to make it more Oh, don't, don't, don't connect up. I thought that might be something that would uh, be a good idea. Ah, oh, maybe that maybe if they could connect up, that would be really cool. Yeah, I'm quite sad by that actually. So now I've discovered that you can't hang heads from chains. That's quite sad. But anyway, you know, if you could, you could make it look a lot more menacing. But yeah, this is a nice little fantasy style one here. Um, so yeah, nice little palette. Definitely recommend trying this one out. I absolutely love this palette at the moment. Uh, this one here, just really like colourful, rich, quite an early game one you can kind of get, except for the blackstone, obviously, because you're going to need to go to the nether there. But we're just using a different kind of variety. We've got some barrels down here. We've got uh, stripped logs here, barrels backwards here, so you can actually open these. Uh, planks here, and then we've kind of got a few things going around here. So we've got a trapdoor in the middle with a light behind it. We've got some lights under these trapdoors too. Same here, and the same on this side. Compost is in the middle with leaves. Um, obviously you've got logs this side on this side so we're going with the gaps but this one's actually a five block gap and then we've kind of got barrels backwards on this side here so we've got barrels here if you look from it from behind where I haven't covered it up it does look quite messy and ugly uh, but you know you could actually obviously add some sort of platform here so you can actually just just for temporary like you can just walk along this just kind of showing you that you know it's still usable you can walk along it you can kind of shoot down but because of the leaf block does kind of get in the way and you will have to place the trapdoors correctly instead of placing them on the side like I've done for the majority of these um, but yeah it is just a really kind of colorful one really nice early game one you could get done uh, it would just require a lot of wood cutting which is something that is relatively boring and uh, yeah probably wouldn't recommend that because uh, it is just a boring but hopefully these uh, designs kind of inspire you on some nice little castles or cut walls or maybe some of these could just help you with some ideas that you've been kind of playing around with a castle or something. I did see recently that someone commented uh, that on my previous video the five staircase designs that I kind of inspired them to go back and redo a previous project. So maybe this could help that person uh, with their wolves or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.